Hey y'all, how you doing today? So it's late at night and everybody is sleeping. So if you hear snoring, that is one of my dogs. Um, I am doing a Jelly postcard play 2024 and I got my last two cards done or well to do so I'm gonna put this aside for a second and I'm gonna put that aside for a second and this is the one that we're gonna work on so when um, I was trying to clean my uh, craft room a little bit so I could find something to do and this was actually on a um, like an ATC size card and I just fussy cut it out and um, I cut off the tentacle things and so I'm just gonna use this cord here to um, make it three-dimensional and glue them on there so let's see first off I want my 30 to go right there because it's kind of blank and um, again this is a new stamp set so um, actually, I got it in a, there we go, I got it in a, um, I bought it from Marketplace, and I just need to make sure that they're still working, or, you know, that they stick to the thing, they come out how I want them to, because not all of them were prepped, okay my renewal for my Microsoft uh, or my internet security. <laughs> okay, so three first. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so this is gonna go right here. And I don't know if there's an actual upside down or right side up for this zero. So it looks pretty much the same. There was another set that came in with this one also, but um, it looked like they had shadows uh, and I didn't, I didn't really care for that one. So that's that. And I'm going to put these on there first because I want to make sure that um, I have room for uh, some hand uh, drawing. Um, I don't do it all the time, but sometimes I uh, make little dashes and uh, I guess like, you know, so you can see that it, the butterfly looks like it's flying. Okay, and I got something on my hand right here. Oh, a glue string. <laughs> of course I do. Okay, that's gonna go there. And he's gonna go here. I actually didn't ink this guy. I just realized that that's okay. Not everything needs ink. And it's gonna go right there. And I don't need these to be too terribly long. I guess maybe right there. And then another one the same size or right close to it. Okay. We're just gonna put a little bit of glue right there. And put that down. Well, that's a little long. Let me see if I can't cut a little bit more off that. That's better. Okay, so let's cut a little bit of this off too. 
actually I think this end looks a little bit better so we'll cut that right there and then we'll put some glue right here I never thought of this before I have drawn them on there um I forgot I had this stuff to be honest with you okay and we're okay I'm going to use a permanent Sharpie marker. This is a ultra fine point, and this is what I mean. So I'm just going to draw some dashes like he's flying around. And there's that. And as always, I did my sewing ahead of time. Um, and that is going to go on. Let me move all this over here. That's going to go on this side here. So I need the, I need this to be on this side here. This way. Okay. And I'm just going to put some glue right here. And we're gonna mush it down. Um, I think this is called Seersucker. Uh, I tried to use it one time. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, I don't remember what I was making because it was a really long time ago, but I wanna say it was mm -hmm. um, like a little bag, you know, like a book bag or something. And, um, it's seersucker. I've never used it before. It's like the texture thing there. Um, I couldn't get it to do what I wanted it to do without um, getting crinkled up underneath my presser foot. Um, and I did not know at the time what a walking foot was and what it actually does. So... Now that I have one, I can probably actually try and uh, use it again because I do have more of it, but I don't know what I would use it for in this instance anyway, just because, um, you know, it's kind of like cutesy, uh, like children's fabric is how I look at it. Um, but I was making a book bag, so, and it was for a friend. Not that she's uh, got any girls, but it was just, it was a book bag for her, which ended up, she got something else instead. So we're going to put that right there. All right, now I got a little tickle in my throat, so I'm going to take a sip of tea. Forgive me if you heard that slurp. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do for this. Now, this was one of my favorite cards because I love this color to begin with. Um, wasn't too hip on what was going on back here, but that's because that's the color of the card. So you're seeing that through there. But uh, this is what we're gonna do. This is drywall tape. Um, so, uh, funny story, my husband and I happen to own a plumbing company and a handyman service, and um, somebody was using this one day. This is strictly a Lowe's product. You cannot get it anywhere else. Um, nobody else makes it, as far as I know. Um, it's really hard to get apart, though, but uh, okay, there we go. So I sent him to Lowe's and I said, can you pick this up? And here's a picture of it. And he brought me home this, um, is that the way I wanted to do that? And I'm going to show you how to do, make that in a minute. Yeah, no, I didn't, I didn't want that. I, okay, it's going this way. Um, so I sent him a picture of it and everything. And the picture that I sent him was actually the um, picture from Lowe's website. 
and he came home with, uh, I don't know what it was, but, um, it's definitely not something that you can use. It was for drywall, but, um, it was not, I don't know how to explain it. It cracked. And, uh, when, when you bent, when you bent it, um, and it did not do what I wanted it to do. And so after, I don't know, a week or so, I said, just take me up there. I'll find it myself. And he said, you're never going to find it. I'm in here every day. Mm -hmm. And so, um, yeah, I was in Lowe's about five minutes and I walked out and he said, no way. Mm -hmm. And I said, yes, it's actually in the lumber section. It is not in the plumbing section. Um, and it was on the floor. So I suppose, um, I mean, in, on the floor. It was in a box on the floor. But I suppose if you, if you don't really know what you're looking for, because we don't do drywall per se, we subcontract that out. Um, he didn't know what I was talking about. But the funny thing is, is I went in our garage looking for something one day and we had a whole roll, roll of it in there. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm going to use this as my pocket and um, I'm going to show you how to make that. So um, whatever, however big you want this, it has to be a complete square. So I believe I cut this one four by four. Um, this does have print on it. So if it bothers you that the print is gonna be upside down, make sure that you use something that is non-directional and you're gonna take it and fold it in half and make a triangle out of it. And it doesn't have to be perfect, right? And then we're gonna flip it over. I always do it this way and I line up this uh, point here on one of my mat lines because we want to put it all the way down to the bottom and make sure that it's even and flatten that out and then we're going to lift that back up and we're going to take this side and fold it up so this edge here meets that fold there but we're going to give it a just a little bit of room there so it can still fold down and not be like weird sitting because it's up too close to that fold line. You know what I mean? And then make sure that these are equal. Okay. And then fold that down. So this was not my idea. Um, and I saw this a, a while ago actually and a couple years ago and I can't remember who did it but um they didn't do this and my crocodile won't fit in there so this is what I did um I I did use this but um what I ended up doing was I took my awl and this is very pointy I don't know if you can see that. Um, be very careful when you're using this because it does draw blood. Ask me how I know. Okay, and we're just gonna try and put a hole in there. Okay, let's see if I need this. So this is actually like fabric paper. I don't know how to explain it really because it's not really anything that you can write on. Oh, I see why it was giving me trouble. Okay. I'm just going to see where those holes went. Okay. Now yeah, maybe I can do it. Um, I couldn't get the crocodile in this because it's too tiny uh, of a space because it, it has to go in here and there's just not enough room. If you used a 12 by 12 piece of paper and try to do it that way, it might work. Um, but this is just for decoration. Um, the person that I saw doing it actually glued it down. Um, and try not to make a hole in the back there. And that should be big enough for that. And if not, we'll just make it a little bit bigger. 
Oh, okay, we need to make a little bit bigger. Okay. This is just to keep it closed um, and to hang a little dangle on there for decoration. Okay, there we go, that's in there. If you don't have a crop -a dial you can also use a silent setter or something similar to that. And I already have it set to be on what it needs to be, the small uh, male end and this copper flat uh, female end. And we're just going to turn this upside down and make sure that we get this part, actually I can turn it sideways, put that in here, maybe, and then just squeeze it. And then there you go, it'll stay. So that'll go in my uh, box of already done stuff. So this is the one I'm gonna use. And I made these charms a um, long time ago. I just, this is scrapbook paper. I just cut out, um, I think this is a one inch. Yeah, that's a one inch circle. And I cut like three or four pieces of cardstock and glued them in between there and then put the scrapbook paper on either side of it. And I'm just gonna glue it down right here. And normally I make like double pockets and stuff out of this, but I'm just gonna use, I'm just gonna glue this whole thing down and make, make it just one pocket. Um, and for those of you that have been following this Jelly Postcard Play um, video series, a couple of days ago, I made the tiniest quilt. And um, what ended up happening was the one that I ended up using was the third one that I had to make. So, I should have squished that glue down there. So this is what we're gonna do. What are we gonna do? Sticker. Let's see what kind of flower sticker we can get on there. And actually, I don't want one of the see-through ones. I want a, a backing one. I keep my, I keep some of my thing in my, uh, stickers and whatnot in um, Altoid tins. And this, these here are a mixture of, I think, Graphics Fairy and Tim Holtz. What do we got here? Mm, got anything bigger with more pink? I think that one might be a little bit too big because actually let me put this down first and then that's going to tell me exactly what I, um, I just stapled that real quick. Uh, we're going to, let's see, we're going to put this down first. Oh no, no, what are we going to do first? Here we go. Um, we're going to flatten these out is what we're going to do because it will make it sit right on the piece of paper. And of course that side doesn't wanna flatten out, but that's okay. So that's gonna go right there. And my 31 is gonna go right there on top to hide that staple. And I don't like that one. Okay, so I guess it is gonna be this one. That looks kinda of funny though. I know we do need this one. Doesn't even go that way, goes that way. All right, well, we're, we're putting this one here just because I didn't I didn't think to um, squish out my glue so it, it didn't bleed through just like that. That's exactly why uh, I squish out my glue. So we're just gonna push those aside for a second. So uh, the tiniest quilt, 
This was my original tiniest quilt and I tried to bind it and it didn't work. And this tiny quilt is actually smaller than, where is it? Oh gosh, I don't even know where, it, I don't know. I think it's right here. It's even smaller than this tiny quilt, right? So now it is a tiny journal. And because I just made it, um, it's just a basic three hole pamphlet stitch. It's got uh, like four or five pieces of paper in there. And because I just made it, it's not gonna stay shut. So I'm just gonna put that on there like that. I'm gonna put it in here like that, right? Actually, let me take that off first so I can glue that down. And uh, it is, I think about midnight here. Yeah, almost, it's like 10 till. And so I'm going to upload this. And so you won't get it until tomorrow, but um, tomorrow when I get up, I will actually do the flip through of it tomorrow um, because I'll have to do a couple of different videos on that so I can make shorts. Um, there you go. Okay, and uh, now that we have 31 done, I put that there already. The end. <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed this. This was really fun. Um, thank you uh, to Carrie Griffiths for getting this challenge going. I really had a lot of fun with it. And um, I can't wait to do the flip through so everybody can see all at one time how all these cards came together and you see why I had to make a new cover for it because that actually came out a lot bigger although this is not going to stay in there I'm gonna have to figure out a different solution for that but having said that there you go um, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did uh, like subscribe do all those things, you know, it's all down in the description box if you haven't started yet. Uh, Carrie Griffith's um, launch video is down there. And also the um, postcard backs. Eddie Makes Art has um, a two-page uh, free digital on his Ko-fi page. I don't know how to put his Ko-fi link down there, but I got him in the description box so you can go to his channel and then just click on his description box and go to his Kofi from there. So happy crafting and I will see you soon.